What do you think of when it comes to cursed items in Hypixel Skyblock? Maybe it's the crash banner at the level 0 pet. Today we'll be covering the 15 most cursed Skyblock items, some of which you can get yourself. In Hypixel Skybox early days, items that could normally only be stacked up to 16, such as Ender Pearls or Snowballs, could be overstacked to 64, which is not possible in vanilla Minecraft. This caused the game to glitch out, and you could combine these overstacked items in menus to create negative items. It automatically became negative after around 130 of these overstacked items were combined. This method was thought to be patched, but was rediscovered in 2020 where Jeremy5161 was playing around. This method was shared, but was swiftly patched, as players found a way to dupe with it. Then, another method was discovered in July 2021, where any head item could become negative. I'll let Time Dio explain it. Okay, so there, there's, there's 64 on your head, there's 64 on your mouse. You want to right-click and drag it to the side, and it will create 127. Then Wifeb found a dupe with it, and the method was patched. Then there was yet another method involving the helmet slot, which I'll show on screen. This was also patched, and a lot of negative items have disappeared since, although there are still a few left in the hands of certain players. Time Dio, a well-known glitch hunter, decided one day in 2020 to stress test some menus. This is where you test to make sure the menu won't fall apart if being spammed. While stress testing the recent game menu, which you could access anywhere, an item dropped. The recent game's menu was not stable at all, and if it was spammed fast enough, then items from the menu could be obtained in any game, including Skyblock. This means that if you joined and left a housing, then joined Skyblock and did the glitch, you could get a housing door in Skyblock. The reason the housing door was special compared to all the other items that were obtainable is that the housing name showed up on the door. This allowed players to rename a housing and get a housing door with whatever name they wanted, including special characters. This was soon patched, and very few of these still exist today. When the telekinesis enchantment first came out, crash banners were obtainable by breaking them in the dark auction with a tool enchanted with telekinesis. Only a few people got these, and these were how the banners on Time Dio's island were obtained. They also had a weird behavior making the world around them go crazy. Like, really crazy. This method of obtaining banners was patched quickly. On February 1st, 2020, the pets update was released alongside the new NPC Oringo. Although Oringo was supposed to spawn on the hub, due to a bug he started showing up on players' islands. The Oringo's town conveniently had banners on it, allowing many players to obtain them. After this, the admins decided to blacklist them as they could be used to crash lobbies, and too many players have them now. Recently, they have been fixed, unblacklisted, and assigned the rarity common. Another important thing to mention is that recently, there was a new banner glitch involving the ghost wall ability and the banners and dungeons, but I won't get into that here. You can watch Melord's video linked in the description to learn more about that. A level 0 pet seems impossible to obtain, as all Skyblock pets start at level 1, but there was a bug that allowed players to get such a pet. On June 7th, 2020, the admins gave players the ability to shift-click items in and out of anvils, which a lot of players really wanted. But this had some unexpected quirks. Back then, Skyblock items had anvil uses much like vanilla Minecraft. Every time an item gained an anvil use, the XP required to add another enchant would significantly increase. There was a bug that when you shift-click an item out of the anvil GUI, it would get an anvil use even if it hadn't been enchanted. Doing this over and over again would make it so eventually it would cost the integer limit of 2.1 billion XP levels to enchant the item. The last known one is owned by Joey Zucchini, but I can't find it in their inventory or on their island, so I can't say for sure if this item still exists. This bug has been long patched and Skyblock items no longer have anvil uses. In the first few minutes after the dungeon key released, people were able to reforge it like a talisman, making the key get stat bonuses. This would actually make this item useful. This item was unfortunately patched on the release of the new accessory bag system, but it was fun while it lasted.
At the very beginning of Skyblock, any head item left in our chest when reloading the island would change to an Alex skinned head, signifying no found texture. This would have a unique name to the item it was before the reload. A few people realized this when placing a minion in a chest, but no one thought it worked on other heads. Only a couple players who figured this out ended up trying this glitch with a fishing crystal, obtainable from the pond island. Somewhat like how a last name goes before a first name in some documents, a similar thing was the case here, and the words were switched around a bit. But that wasn't it, it seemed like there was a typo in the data of the fishing crystal, which most likely caused the letter C to be missing. This item is so cursed on many levels, and sadly none exist today. The only person who still had one a couple years ago named Foss Knox has since been wiped. The skeleton horse pet is meant to be legendary, but there was one instance where the game glitched and gave a single player a common skeleton horse pet. They had no clue what happened and this has not happened since. This item has been bought by Time Dio and he has kept it since. If you want to view it, it's in his pets menu. If you're familiar with runes and Hypixel Skyblock, you would know that you can only apply one per item, and there are a certain set of runes that can only be applied to a particular item. There used to be a bow that defines both of these rules. Likely obtained due to a bug when the rune pedestal first released, there is only one bow with two runes on it which has been documented and it used to be owned by the Anomaly Archive, the number one glitched item museum before they got wiped. This rune on this bow had both the lava rune and the hot rune which is supposed to be a boot rune. When holding the bow, both runes function like normal, allowing you to have a particle trail with no boots. Sadly, this was the only one documented and was deleted when their profile got wiped. The 100k Midas Staff isn't really a glitched item, but it definitely is cursed. The Midas Staff is a weapon where the damage scales with the price paid, similar to the Midas Sword, except the Midas Staff is only available to bid when the Special Mayor Sirius is elected, making this item only show up in the dark auctions a few times a year. Not only that, but rich people compete to get it for 100 million coins, which is the maximum damage buff you can get. 100,000 coins is the lowest someone can bid for a dark auction item, and almost all items bid way past that. To get a highly demanded rare dark auction weapon that only appears every couple of months for 100,000 coins is absolutely insane. Very few of this item are documented to exist, one of which belongs to the now wiped anomaly archive. Before I talk about the rest of the items, it would really help if you subscribe to the channel. I'm going for 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and doing a 50 million coin giveaway. Get 10,000 subscribers, comment your IGN in the comment section to be entered. Also, make sure to subscribe to the voicer of this video, Raging Envy's channel, which can be found in the info card. Time to get back to the video. The logic of how the stringless fishing rod was made is way too complicated for me to explain, but essentially, a while ago, you could fish up items from the vanilla Minecraft loot table in Skyblock. If you somehow got a fishing rod with the durability of 63 out of 64 and held it, it would turn into a stringless fishing rod. This is super rare, as getting a fishing rod in the vanilla Minecraft loot table is 0.8% and the chances that it had the exact durability of 63 out of 64 is unimaginably rare. Any other durability would just turn it into a regular fishing rod null. There's a lot of technicality behind this based on how Minecraft chooses items rights, which again, I won't get into here. The player who managed to obtain this insanely cursed and special item was Treyox, and guess what? He was also part of the Anomaly Archive, which means that he was wiped along with his insanely cool fishing rod. Unless someone else somehow managed to get lucky enough to have gotten a 63 out of 64 durability fishing rod before the Minecraft vanilla loot table was removed from Skyblock, this is the only and last one to ever exist. Placing down command blocks made a ton of new cursed items, but not in the way you would expect. It would freeze the island until you placed or broke a block, allowing for some crazy things. Anything you did while the island was froze would save. This is how half beds and half doors were created. This even allowed players to place barrier blocks on their island. This could also be used in various ways to do, but is now patched. You might be asking yourself, how could you place on command box? Well, I'll let Mr. Time Dio show you. That was the second method, but before that there was another method. I'll let Mr. Time Dio show you that one too. These are both patched by the way, the repelling candle was also an extremely buggy item that allowed for a lot of other crashes and freezes like this.
The barrier block was actually really easy to get. There have been many methods over the course of years, but the only known placeable method was to freeze the island. Here's what I know about the easiest method to get barrier blocks. Go into your options, controls, turn touchscreen mode on. It, it, it needs to be on, all right? Meaning you're gonna have to click and drag everything into the anvil. And once you do that, you drag this down, the little combined items anvil, and then you drag down the promising axe. And there you have the anvil. Now you can, that's an anvil barrier. You pick it up and then you can have to put it in your backpack or else it'll go, oh shit, you have to drag it into your backpack or else it'll go bye-bye. Unfortunately, it is now patched and barrier blocks are blacklisted. Not to say more methods won't come about in the future. There's also many types of barrier block from all types of GUIs. Even one from the recent game menu like I talked about earlier in the video. Another extremely powerful bug used to be the day-night saver bug. Another one which is extremely complicated, but I'll try my best to explain it without getting into the technical bits. If you placed a day-night saver next to each other on top of two blocks, these blocks would glitch out. Then, you could place a day-night saver on your island and set the time. This time would correspond to the type of null blocks the blocks became. By the blocks, I mean the ones that the day-night savers were initially placed on. This had been patched for many years, and this is how the majority of wooden slabs or alpha slabs were created. An alpha slab is a pressure plate only obtainable in the early versions of Minecraft. The technicalities of how this was obtained using the day night saver bug are complicated, and I could not understand how it works really. I am no glitch item expert, but the important part is that the null slab, aka the alpha or the wooden slab, was very special and different to other nulls. This slab was a stone slab retextured as a wooden slab, and still contained all the properties of stone slab as shown on screen. All normal slabs in Hypixel are called by their wood verity, like oak wood slab. This one is just wooden slab though. I have been fortunate enough to obtain some of these, and I'll be giving away three of them to people who join my Discord server in the pinned comment. The personal deleter created some cursed items. How it works is that when the update that added the personal deleter first rolled out, if you put something inside the deleter, it would get its NBT data deleted. This was used for a lot of things, it could be used to take items out of dungeons. The main thing I want to focus on is the ancient elevator and the clune boat. If you don't know what either of these are, they are special items given out by the Advent Mini Clune. If either of these were put inside the personal deleter, all the addition and player received data would go away, and it would be replaced by the phrase dollar store, indicating that Mini Clune had bought these special items from the dollar store. That was just a funny side joke for Mini Clune, but it also made some very valuable and cursed items. If you want to see a dollar store clune boat or elevator, do slash visit time to you. There's a lot more items I didn't have time to talk about in this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want a part 2. Congratulations to the winners of the 3000 subscriber giveaway, those being leveled and not an ocelot, and with that I'll see you next week.